Hey, Shalom. I want to start off saying, Call La Yimla, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Wachar Kodash, which may give our praises to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, and the Solomon Begotten Son, Yahweh Shai, which is our Lord and Savior, and to the Holy Spirit. Nathan Mashanah Kabbalah, Hashkrim, Shahash Allah, which may give the honors to the elders of Israel, which is the apostles and elders of great men, stone with Israel. Shalom, Wahalaba Kayah, Shahash Allah, which may peace and love to the elect of Israel. Coming with you again with another lesson. This is the brother I'm not from the Jim S. Memphis count. That's going to be on what happened on this past count. Um, no, I'm just going to let it play. Lord willing, be edified. I'm going to get some scriptures to bag it up. Yeah, you support that? I support that. I'm a member of the NFAC. I'm actually the, uh, the city commander of the NFAC. And this going to be on that. A guy from the NFAC not fucking around crew came up, you know, and you can watch this start at the 39 minute, 16 second mark, you can start from there, or you can watch the whole thing, you know. But I'm going to jump around and so I'm going, I don't want the lesson to be too long. Let me see, can I find it? You see, he know about the Edomites and stuff like that, so on. Um, you know, came up saying shalom and stuff like that. With power, a lot of people hadn't got to that point. Power only respects power. They power. You know what I'm saying? Every, every time we ever came with a peaceful speech, they have always said, to drum shepherds on us, spread it down, walk on us, and keep killing us. Power only. How do talk to us? It only speaks to power. Alright, so, so who you. Now, what's what the word in the bar tell him? Ask him. I'm for my trust. Alright, so, so who you. So you put your trust in, you put your trust in your gun, or you put your trust in I put my trust in the creator of the universe and everything. Yeah. I said, why do you like it? Relying on the source of artillery. So, that's the point. You see? It's not relying, it's making sure that I am ready for what, what comes to me because they. See? This is why he put his trust in, in his guns. And guess the name of this lesson is Make Yourself Ready Spiritually. You see? I'll play that one more time. So, it's not relying. It's making sure that I am ready for what, what comes to me. Because... Sega has a 16. And 40, oh my people, hear my word, make you ready to that battle. And, and those evils be even as pilgrims upon the earth. This is how you make yourself ready, spiritually. Being pilgrims upon the earth, making yourself ready to the battle. And ultimately, repenting and come back to the Lord, your how about some more shy. And having your trust, having your hope, having faith in your how about some more shy. Not storing up your guns. Having a plan B, you see? The etymology of the word pilgrim. A person traveling to a holy place. It's a penance or to discharge some vow of religious obligation or seeking some miracle or spiritual benefit. Seeking some miracle or spiritual benefit. Traveling to a holy place. And those evils be even as pilgrims upon the earth. This Proverbs 22 and 3. A prudent man foreseeth the evil and hide it himself. But the simple pass on and are punished. And you're going to be punished. You are going to be punished if you're trying to avenge yourself. Because the book of Romans 11, I think the 11th chapter. Now let's grab it. Maybe Romans 12. 
Romans 12 and 19. It said, Dearly beloved, advance not yourself, but rather give place unto wealth. For it is written, Vengeance is mine, I will repay, said the Lord. So we got to wait. It said, Advance not yourself. Not go get guns, not trying to store up your arm, um, your artillery, put your trust in guns. Go head to head with the so called white man. Esau Edom, the most high whooping stick. You see? The book of Psalm 17, 13, it said, Arise, O Lord, disappoint him. Cast him down. Deliver my soul from the wicked. Which is that sword, man. You see? And this lets you know Jake don't have faith in the Lord. Jake don't have trust in the Lord. You see? So Proverbs 2 and, two and 3 again. A prudent man foresee the evil and hiding himself. This is you making yourself ready for the battle. You know? Being his pilgrim, you hiding yourself, man. This this spiritually, man, this not carnal, man. It said, put a man for seed or evil and hiding himself, but the simple pass on and not punish. Well, put it for the etymology dictionary with knowledge. You see, knowledge. Knowledge, man. So conspect, foreseen, look ahead. Hey, prepare. Look that word up, prepare, man. Make ready. Make something ready for, <laughs> you see? Make yourself ready spiritually, you see? By being prudent, being so conspect, being wise. A wise, a, a wise man foresee the evil and hiding himself, man. Scripture said, follow not the multitude or, or, um, that do evil. What from paraphrasing in the book of Exodus, you see? Amos 5 and 13. Therefore, the prudent shall keep silence in that time. What time? In, the, in that time of evil, as it says in 2 16 and 40. And in those evils, being even as pilgrims upon the earth, during the evil time that are coming. Therefore, the prudent, the wise, the knowledge, you know. Therefore, the prudent shall keep silence in that time, for it is an evil time. You see? It say um in the book of Isaiah thirty two. Um grab that real quick, man. It said, and a man shall be as a hiding place from the wind, and a covered from the tempest is a river of water and a dry place. It's the shadow of a great rock and a wave of land, man. So a man should be a hiding place from the wind, man. That man is the elect man. The, hey, the Lord gonna protect his man from danger, from evil. You see? The Lord that had delivered the just out of the unjust, man. And this is spiritually. And those that um put his faith in him, man. He gonna protect them, man. You see? Not you going to get guns, getting the biggest Draco, Jake, Jake wanna uh Jake uh, call it, you know? Trying to um prepare yourself carnally. You know, you prepare yourself spiritually and let's come out having faith. And putting your trust in the Lord, man. Psalm 5 and 11. But let all those that put their trust in thee rejoice. Let them ever shout for joy. Because thou defendest them. And the Lord going to defend you, man. You putting your trust in him, man. You see? It said, uh, the stand of the Lord. Grab that, man. Try to let the scripture do the talking, you see? Isaiah 59, 19. So shall I feel the name of the Lord from the west and his glory from the rising of the sun when the enemy should come in like a flood. The spirit of the Lord should lift up a standard against him, man. You see? You got to have faith in that, man. You see? Hey, this is a man uh, hiding from the wind, man. It's a, it's a tempest when the enemy come in like a flood. Revelation 12 and 12. So back in Psalms 5 and 11. It said, but let all those that put their trust in thee rejoice. But who who are all those that going to put their trust in the Lord? The elect, you see? The Lord will impart that number. It said, let them ever shout for joy because thou defendest them. <laughs> it said, let them also that love thy name be joyful in thee. You see? It said, the righteous wanted to it and it's safe in the book of Proverbs 18 and 10. We have the name and that name is Yahweh Shemar Shot, man. Yahweh, why Yahweh shot, man? The 
Those the name, man. They're going to defend us, man. He is our help, you know, in the day of evil, man. In the day of refuge, man. You see? He going to defend us, man. You see? Get Psalms. Now, before I get that, in the same chapters, saying as a 16 and 74, it said, Hear, O ye, my beloved, said the Lord, Yahweh to my Behold, the days of trouble are in hand. What? You see? The days of trouble are in hand. Jacob trouble, the evil times. You see? But I will deliver you from the same. See? The Lord going to deliver us, man. Be ye not afraid, neither doubt, for the most high is so God. You see? He going to guide us. It said, Even this power. What's that? For the. Oh, man. Bear with me. Bear with me, Aki. Nope. I'm going to find it. Lord, let me see. Again. Psalms 48 and 14. For this power is our power forever and ever. He will be our God even unto death, man. The plain is simple. You see? So, right. 2 and 76. And the God of them who kept my commandments and precepts said the Lord, Yahweh said, My child, let not your sins weigh you down and let not your iniquities live up themselves, man. You see, so we're not going to be afraid, man. Yeah, we in the flesh. But he said the spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak, you see. But the Lord always told us, be not afraid, be a good cheer. You see, this us making ourselves um, ready. Because it's that wisdom and knowledge should be the stability of that time. It's not going to get the big, biggest gun or, or trying to um, prepare your, um, your, uh, compare yourself to Esau either, man. You know? You see? But Jake is carnal, man. You got to make yourself ready spiritually, man. It's that carnal mind is enmity with the most high, man. Those that are walk out of the flesh uh, would, would die. <clears throat> Well, from the pale face, you can read that in the book of um, Romans, the 8th chapter, you see? So, right. You get Psalms 55 or 6. So, like, you 56. Psalms 56 and, um, man, I'm going to start at 3. What time I am afraid, I will trust in thee. In the most high, I will praise his word. In the most high, I have put my trust. I will not feel what flesh can do unto me. You see? Jump down to 11. In the most high, have I put my trust. I will not be afraid what man can do unto me, man. You see? You shouldn't be afraid what man can do unto you, man. It said, hey, Book of Psalms. Hey, the Book of Psalms is beautiful, man. You know? Psalms 118 and 6. The Lord, Yahweh, on my side, I will not fear what can man do unto me. You see, this is one of my favorite precepts, man. It said, the most high. Romans 8 and 31. What shall we then say to these things? If the most high be for us, who can be against us, man? You see? Then it says in the book of Matthew 10 and 28, And fear not them which kill the body, but are not able to kill the soul, but rather fear him which is able to destroy both soul and body in hell. We're supposed to be fearing you. How about some outside? You see, at the end of the day, not man, not Esau Edom. You know, who cares? Hey, Esau Edom for the come having great wealth, man. But I remember that standard. You got to have faith. You got to have trust in that, man. You got to believe in that, man. You see? Go back to this. Okay, he said he believed. What's that? You see? He said he put his trust in the um in the uh, in the creator or whatever, man. But uh, he really don't cause he uh, he uh, making a plan B, you see? You should only put your trust in your house by some other shot, man. Um, you get limitations. 3 and 26. 
It is good that a man should both hope and quietly wait for the salvation of the Lord. Right? Not avenging yourself. You see? <clears throat> Go to the word hope as well. Hope for the etymology dictionary. To have trust. Trust, man. Confidence. You see? So those that trust the Lord will wait, not going to avenge yourself, not joining the NFAC, a common group, man. You see? And that's plain and simple, man. But it is good that a man should both hope and quietly wait for the salvation of the Lord, man. He said, bless all those that wait for him, man. Psalms 146 and 3. Put not your trust in princes, nor in the son of man in whom there is no help, right? Better put your trust in your how about some other shot. Because man can't save you. Man can't help you. An army can't help you, man. You trying to get a, to get a small army or whatever to fight against Esau. That's not going to help you, man. You see? So I'm this again. Put not your trust in princes, nor in the son of man in whom there is no help. But you should you should be putting your help in your how about your mouth shot, man. This you making yourself ready, man. It's the same in the book of Psalms. Mr. Mr. Psalms 91. <laughs> it's like you. Psalms 91. And one, he that dwell in the secret place of the most high shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, he in my refuge and my fortress, my power in him will I trust, man. You see? This is you making yourself ready on uh, uh, dealing in the secret place of the Most High in these scriptures, man. Because why put a man for see the evil and hiding himself, man? The Lord going to hide you from the evil, man. From the, uh, the, from the tempest, man. From Esau, Edom, man. From the pestilence, man. From famine. You see? This is you making yourself ready spiritually, not carnal. You know? A carnal man leads to death, man. You see? Get part of I'm going to close, man. You know? Proverbs 30 and 5. Every word of the Most High is pure. He is a shield unto them that put their trust in him, man. So the Lord going to defend us, man. What does it say in the book of Exodus? I think 23 and 20. Exodus 23. Uh, I get straight to the point. Exodus 23 and 22. But if thou shalt indeed obey his voice and, and do all that I speak, then I will be an enemy unto thy enemies and an adversary unto thy adversaries, man. You see? The Lord going to protect us, man. He going to be an enemy, an enemy to our enemy, man. You see? He going he gonna to fight for us, man. He says, strive for the truth unto the devil and the Lord shall fight for thee, man. You see? And this you making yourself ready by obeying the Lord, by, by, by obeying uh, the Lord's voice, man. You see? Just doing the work, man. One of the people, man. Just obey the Lord's voice, man. By not inventing yourself. Putting your trust in him, man. You see? Let me get Ephesians. Close on this. Ephesians 6 and 12. I start at 10. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord Yahweh shall my side and the power of his might. Upon the whole arm of the most high, that ye may be able to stand against the vows of the devil, man. See, we prepare spiritually, man. We put on the whole arm of the most high, man, by these scriptures, man. By walking on um, in the spirit. He said, redeeming the time. The for the uh, Let me check that list. Nope. Bear with me. Yep, Ephesians 5, oh, 515. It says, See then that you are so conspectly, you know, not as fools, but as wise, redeeming the time because, because the days are evil, man. You see, it said, Walk in the spirit that you should never fulfill the lust of us, man. So back in Ephesians 6. <laughs> And living, put, put on the whole arm on the most side that you may be able to stand against the rise of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, you see that? You know? 
It said, well, for a take on to you, the whole arm on the most side, that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day and have it done all to stand. St you see? This you make yourself ready to spill you, man. It said, your adversary is the war lion seeking whom he may devour, man. So we got pour on the whole arm on the most side spiritually, man. By praying and fasting, man. It's good to say pray without season, man. I'm going to keep going on this. Um, 14. Stand therefore heavy your loins, guard about with truth, and have on the breastplate of the of righteousness, and your feet shod with preparation of the gospel of peace. Above all, taking the shield of faith, wherein you shall be able to quench all the fiery doubts of the wicked, and take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is in the world of the Most High, praying always with all prayer and supplication in the Spirit, and watching, and watching down to with all perseverance and supplication for all saints. And that's pretty much the point, man. Pour on the whole arm of the Most High, man. You know, this you make yourself ready spiritually, man. Your wisdom, knowledge should be the stability of that times, man. You see, and, it, and you know, Lord willing, you edify just going in on it, you know. Another scripture came to mind, so I'm, I'm going to grab it, you know. Say Corinthians 10 and 3, For though we walk in the flesh, we do not walk after the flesh. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through the most side to pulling down of strongholds. You see, the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. We, hey, we have a spiritual weapon, and it's this 1611, man. The word of the Most High. He said the word of the Most High is quick and powerful, man. You know, we don't have to go get guns or nothing like that, man. You see? You, hey, make yourself ready spiritually, man. You see? Hey, we, we head into Jacob trouble, man. The hour of temptation, man. A gun not going to save you from the hour of temptation, man. <laughs> you see? So, right, man. Just going in on that, man. I'm probably come back and do some more videos on this. Lord All right, really. so, so who you, who, so who you put your trust in? You put your trust in your God, or uh, you put your trust in this? I put my trust in the creator of the universe and everything. Yeah. Right, so why do you, why do you rely on the source of uh, artillery? So That's the point. So with that, I hope you're ready to find once again, we give our praises on glory to be a how about Shema Shai, by Shem of Kakudash, the bonus of the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, who teach you well, peace and love to the lack of Israel with that shalom. Come in the shallow, why bye bye.